Hey folks, Sega Sonic fan here with a virtual ribbon update. And today I just want to talk a little bit more about the differences between repair options that are available out there and the upgraded virtual ribbon that I sell. Because I do get questions from folks and um, more recently, kind of alarming, I've been getting more orders from people that have had the solder fix and it hasn't lasted for them. And they're looking for something more permanent. So the virtual ribbon, of course, is something a lot more permanent and uh, it's something that I sell. But I wanna show why I sell it, why I made it, because I do get questions from folks like, why did you bother? There already is a repair for the virtual ribbon LED. And so this customer sent me a repaired one, and I've done a video on this before, but I wanted to show under the microscope what it actually looks like. If I adjust my... Tripod here. And uh, this is the original ribbon cable that you get with the Virtual Boy. And you can see here we have a solder repair that someone's done. And it's not, you know, it's good work. Um, I mean, I guess it could be cleaned a little bit with alcohol and such, but you can see the, the contacts are made and there is, you know, space between each of the contacts and all that. Um, but the problem is, even if you do the very best you can possibly do as far as a solder fix, you're still left with this really terrible cable. And as you can see here, the cable itself has started to break again, and this time at a different place, further up the line here. Um, and so with the chemical solvent and stuff that people use to erode the coating on this cable, uh, there really isn't much left in, in as far as the copper is. And what is left of the copper is oxidizing. You can see this change in color here and that oxidation is the weakening of and, and you know of the copper that is within this actual cable so the reason i designed the virtual ribbon is because this is untenable folks um at least you know in my opinion from what i'm seeing as a repair technician and an engineer there's no way that that's going to work uh in the long term i mean maybe someone can come up with some options gluing stuff and I don't know, I haven't, maybe I haven't seen every repair out there. I'm not trying to judge anyone's repair work. It's just that this is what I see here and it's, it's not great. Um, and it's not, like I said, it's not the fault of the workmanship of any person who has put the time into doing a repair. In fact, I really admire people that go to the lengths to repair retro game systems and, and those of you that you know hire us to do so because um, I really believe in recycling and keeping old game systems working. And, um, but you can just see here, it's, it's, just, it's just bad news. Um, you know, through no fault of the repair technician, it's, it's the quality of the actual cable. And you can see here the, uh, the copper kind of stripping off, um, you know. And so, you know, maybe you can reinforce this in multiple ways, but I don't know, folks. I think it's unlikely. So I just want to show you by comparison the, the the product that I design that I sell, which is the virtual ribbon. This is this is what the uh, the connector board looks like under the microscope, and then I'll show you I'll show you an installed one as well. But first, I'm just going to show you this is the actual this is that same connector that you just saw, only instead of a ribbon cable, it's now. Um, you know, a high quality PCB. So if you do a side by side, you can of course see that there is a marked difference uh, between the quality that you have there for durability. And additionally, when it does get um, installed into the flat flex ribbon connector, um, which got a little bit of dust on that one, but let's show this one. There is a single hair. Uh, when you actually get connected to this, you're actually going to be using this connector for a brand new ribbon cable, which looks like this. And as you can see, the quality difference from the 1995 ribbon 
which I've shown in my other video, you know, not under the microscope. I wanted to show it under the microscope. But this is, this is a marked difference in quality, in actual cable integrity um, from, from the 1995 equivalent. It's just corro it's corroding, it's much thinner material, and it's just, yeah, it's just not as good. It's not even in the same ballpark of good. Um, and so then finally, here is a finished, um, let me zoom out here a little bit, and I'll show a finished virtual ribbon repair. My uh, microscope screen, my secondary screen is going to be a little bit in the way, but I think you'll still be able to make everything out. And so this is what, what, a, what an install looks like that I have done. And hopefully you can see there's just a very significant difference in durability and quality. This isn't going to go anywhere. It's not going to, it's not going to corrode. It's not going to, I mean, I guess you could put it underwater or something to make it rust, but it's not likely to, to rust or have any issues on its own ever. I mean, any more than the main PCB would. Um, and you can, you know, it's very, very thick, as you can see here, the way it's attached is extremely durable. And, uh, and then you have this nice ribbon connector um, going into the actual plug like so. Um, so, yeah, I mean, again, just kind of showing a side-by-side -side of, you know, what might, what might happen, depending on the workmanship, to a soldered ribbon cable, though I don't see how to avoid the, the joint issue that you're going to get, um, even with the very best repair. Like, even if this was really clean and there wasn't, like, the flux that's left over, I think you're still going to have issues with that joint. Even if you put in a better adhesive on the back here, like Nintendo did, um, they, there's an adhesive, this kind of white putty looking thing, which doesn't really stick anymore. But even if you redo that adhesive, you're still gonna have issues uh, because this is a moving part. It's not something that stays stationary. So hopefully this video is helpful to folks. Hopefully it answers some of the questions and uh, concerns of why people think, you know, why this costs more money, because it does cost more money and um, why I bothered to make it. It's something I did what I felt was really necessary. I don't feel like there was another option for the longevity of Virtual Boys. As you all can see, my name is Sega Sonic Fan. I don't make a lot of Nintendo products, and I really did this one because I felt it was really necessary. So um, I wanted to play Virtual Boy. I didn't want to fix Virtual Boys <laughs> in the years to come over and over again. So. Um, yeah, feel free to contact me if you want one. Uh, the development time for me installing these is rather slow. I do have a lot of orders to go through during COVID. I'm very busy. Um, but if you're patient, I will get one to you. And, um, you know, just treat it as, as a, almost like a Kickstarter or something, just something that might take a little while. But um, a lot of people are very happy with the installs I've done. You can also get the kit, which is, of course, a much faster turnaround. And um, thank you, everyone, for all your support so far. Um, these have been selling out really quickly, and it's been great to see um, the support and and kindness from folks. Um, really, really cool. You know, some someone even sent me uh, some some free parts, and uh, you know, just a lot of support from the community, and uh, really reminds me of why I love doing this kind of work uh, for folks. So, yeah, thanks, and uh, feel free to leave comments. I love hearing from folks on my videos, and you know, keep it keep it nice if you don't agree. You know please, you know, that's totally fine. Just, you know, be polite and all that good stuff. And uh, I'm not trying to knock anyone's quality of work here. Just trying to show a difference. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the uh, on the Virtual Boy forums. Forums for the win, by the way. Um, I prefer forums to like Reddit and stuff, although I do post on the Reddit a little bit. Uh, you can find me on forums mostly, especially if you want like repair advice, check out the forums and I'll try to post where I can. Um, I'll make another video on that though. It's kind of making me think I should make a video on why I think video game forums are super important. That's for another time. So uh, thank you all for watching this. This is Sega Sonic Fan, signing out.